welcome back to my videos for those new here my name is joe i recently inherited a farm from the old man after he passed away but it's about two years now today is going to be a start of a couple of videos that i'm going to do as well as the, run, uh, the normal videos where i show how i go day to day on the farm now we do have an added thing here with the snow so that's an extra thing we've got to do or sort out um i don't know exactly how long this is going to be the forecast did say it's going to be around about nine to ten o'clock this morning it's currently just gone seven when the snow is supposed to stop or it's supposed to stop snowing as such the weather forecast the way it is as kind of a guide it's not always perfect anyway for this one we do have before i go on we do have a farm that's asked me to go over and also help him clear the yard as well so some things to do today but for now but this time we're gonna go down to the yard and Feed the animals. I'm going to show you how we go about it, show how I go about it, and uh, yeah. Now the other, f uh, the other, a lot of cows, the calves we have, have already been done. I went round this morning and did those. So they have been done. I'm now going to do the main cows at this yard here, the main farm track doesn't look too bad I will still put some uh, salt and clear the snow that is here have had the gritters go around the main roads obviously they don't do the minor routes they only do the major routes so let's get up here and get everything set and ready to go to close the gate when I came up here. So temperature at the minute, I can't remember if I told any or said it. It is minus minus four at the moment. Uh, it's supposed to go up to I think it's about three, four degrees. So it should get a little warmer hopefully. Right, let's get some lights on in around the farm so we can see what we're doing I uh, don't need that part of the farm I just need this bit here there we go I'll probably feed the, sh uh, the cows first before I do anything then we will get to clearing the snow So what we're going to need to do is get a pallet of those, take it round. While I'm round there, I will get the feed wet, the tractor and the feed wagon out, get that going. And then start feeding, start filling the feed wagon. So, get the pallet forks. I would have, if the snow was thicker, I would probably clear the snow first, but it's only a kind of a small layer. I thought I'd get the feeding done first, then go and do the uh, snow, do the clearing the snow. For those wondering, this is mineral feed for the animals. I do it for both sets of cows we have. So baby calves have it and these do put this round here we 
we're going to put the silage hay and straw in first then we put this in afterwards my bale spike should is it's here should be here I don't know how well this is going to come out, bear in mind it is early morning and the sun is not up yet, so I'll check on the video when I go to edit. I've got those here because I don't need those right now. You need these. These though. So we'll grab these. I'm going to leave that just here for the minute because I need to get the feed wagon and tractor out which will go back along there. Seem happy enough but they are very low on food. So the way I normally do it is two silage bales, one straw bale, one hay bale. Then we put the mineral feed in. That usually feeds them quite well. Let's start this thing up. Um, I'll open all that up in a minute. Let's get this out of the shed. the way I normally do it. I think the old man did it a little different. But, uh, we all have our own ways of doing things so this is the way I decided to do it. Right, we need to open that. Uh, need that switch to turn that on. So that is empty. Now we just fill it. kind of in the right spot. Did I turn the lights on the track? I did. I can't remember if I turned the lights on in the tractor then. So, it doesn't really matter which way I do this. I'm just going to do it the way I normally. It doesn't matter which order, should I say. Make sure I don't hit anything, that's all. Make sure we're over the uh, feed wagon. Drop that in. And we will get another one of those. Drop that in as well. I don't crash at the same time. Now they haven't called me in for the logging, so I've got a day of doing stuff around the farm. I think I'm going to get straw this time. I'm moving, waiting for their food. go right over. There we go. Right, just 
need one grass, then the mineral feed. change and put the mineral feed in. I normally leave the barrel spike here, it's the only time I use it is around this this area, the feed. Drop that off. Uh, looking at the feed when we went in there, there's only another pallet left, so I'm going to have to go and get some more. Order some more at least. Usually pretty good. If I order it and I've done this, it'll probably be here later on today. Hopefully. done every time each time I've done it so that should be good I haven't had any problems with the feed not going so I'm just gonna put this down here for now so we'll go back into the barn when we're done in here 17 17,550 in there now. Right, I do need to turn around. The feed slot is on the other side. It's currently on the side where the bales are, it's not where we need it, so gotta turn around a bit. Can't really see anything with the mirror, so I kinda have to do this by a little bit here without taking anything out hitting the sheds feel the mixing kind of there we go it's lined up just right take it slow across this pad and Start feeding them. Right. Right in the right spot. There we go. It's slow, too fast. Usually put the full wagon load in here. a little bit here just to empty it there it goes they're empty it's 
Gotta put everything away now. We'll probably need to feed them again either later on or maybe tomorrow. We'll see how that food goes. Probably will feed them later on before they call it a night, call it a day. I am facing the wrong way to get this back into the shed, so I'm going to have to turn around a little bit. Easy to see where you need to be with this. Especially when your mirrors are not really good. I'm definitely not good there. Turned a bit too early then. Looks like we're in. Just poke out a little bit. Only because I've got stuff behind here, so... That'll do. Turn that off. Turn that off. Right. Got the uh, fertilizer and what's it behind, so it won't go all the way back. I suppose if I moved it a bit further over, it would go right in, but that's fine where it is. They're happy. We'll keep those lights on for them so they can see what they're doing. Take this back to the barn, where it, parked, where it was parked. Here. It's ready again for when we need it. There we go. Right. Uh, it's not worth me really doing anything with the snow at the moment until the thing stops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this video here for now and come back when the snow has stopped, hopefully. So I shall see you a little bit later. Okay, I'm back. So, the snow uh, clearing jobs is not needed anymore, the, clear, uh, the snow did clear up, so the snow blower and the salt was not needed. So, at this point I came up to the greenhouses, I have shifted some of the produce we've got from here, we'll just check in that we've got what we need here, water and all that, and everything is okay. Got a pallet of strawberries to take back. And then, basically what we do here is strawberries, cabbages, tomatoes. Doing pretty good at the moment. Sorry, not cabbages, lettuces. I do apologise. So we've got three small uh, greenhouses and two double large greenhouses here. If you remember on the farm tour I did say this was where the big the big uh, enclosed pig uh, pen was so these have got water they are good to go kind of all different stages they're looking good either way they'll all do the same thing there's not one that does one and one that does the other it's all the same Get as much as we possibly can. Right, these seem good, they're doing a job. Some honey from the bees there. Right, let's get these back to the barn. Shed.
And I'm going to quickly nip up to some of the fields, this end of the farm, and just check everything is good. As you can see, we have got a few of them now. Martyrs, lettuces, and the strawberries there. Make sure I don't hit anything. Right, that's that job done. So I'm going to make a phone call for the animal feed, which I've done. He said that it should come later on today. I'm going to run up to the one of the big fields and check out the two small fields near that bungalow. See how we're doing on the grove. There's not really much I can do with the with the fields. As I said on the last video it is winter I just want to make sure everything is good on the fields just to keep an eye on them let's check oh I'm taking the bloody jet wash with me hold on let's drop this off because I don't need it got this was attached got the bloody jet wash attached I forgot I had that attached to this. Back it up. Sit there for now. Don't need the bag lift for a bit because of there is no bags. It's usually for the seed and fertilizer. Right, there is one field I want to check, and it's a big one up here. The other reason why I wanted to come up here is to see where we can put a pile of manure that needs to be moved. Seems good enough. Still some dead weeds around. Certainly looks good. A weed we missed in the middle there. It's like I missed a weed. I'm sure if it's a new weed or what. It's like I missed one. Other than that, it looks pretty good out here. I say I'm expecting a good yield this year. All the work we've done on the field, or I've done on the field. So that was that field that I wanted to check. do this and then I shall call it for this video as there's not much else I can do field looks good whoa rather steep hill I don't really use this gator much, or side by side as some people call it. I just normally take the landy out. It's warmer than this normally when I use this. 
as we're not going too far, take it out anyway. And for the couple that live here, I have not seen or heard from them since that day. Um, I was given a message saying they are okay. They've gone with their, gone up to the family, so the family can look after them. That's about all I've heard. So this looks good to me. Nice coverage. We're good here. Gonna check that top field up there and then that will be it. Got some uh, office work paperwork to do. Order some stuff. Do really need to get the combine put in for a service on the paperwork that I've got it was quite a while ago before it had a service so that is one job I'm going to probably get done before either near harvest or before har definitely before harvest it will need doing but I might just have it done nearer the time This field, and then we're done. Looks good. Seems to be any weeds here, which is good. This will probably need another coat of fertilizer before harvest. Oh, I'm holding up traffic. Oops. Close the gate. You ain't scratch my side by side, have you? No. Close. Very close. Reminds me, I need to bring a pallet of feed up for the chickens. Probably do that later on. Do need to bring a pallet of feed up for the ducks and chickens. I don't think there's one in the garage. I think I took that one out. I've done some modifications to the my truck. These are modifications that I had planned to do a while back before all this came about. The bumper and the back. Well, the back bit I had, I just never used it. The bumper is new. I've had it, what, six, seven months? Just never got round to putting it on the car. So we've got that now. Right, this is where I'm going to end it, this video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, there will be more of these on how I run the farm. This one was just the animals for now. Next, I don't know about the next video, but coming up will be the harvest and everything else. Going through the field preps and the rest. So, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye for now.